start us off, John. Rob, what was the explanation of that sequence down here at the end of the fourth about the incompletion that was you talking about Johns? Yes. Yeah, they, they, they told me New York decided it wasn't a completion. Um, and I struggled because it took them so long to get it correct that you, you'd think that they didn't emphatically know that it was an incompletion. And it did look like the left hand was under. I mean, when you get a chance to see the replay, that helps you. And I was looking up at it, and I saw, you know, I did see John's right hand come up, but I saw his left hand under the ball. So that's what I was told was that, it was decided by New York that they felt it was not it was incomplete. And then the, the one that Devontae Smith on the fourth down where he yeah. dropped it, the sidelines kind of looking different. You didn't, why did you not challenge Because I didn't see it on the screen. I was looking up the screen to see if there was something that could help me with it. And then I was waiting to hear somebody upstairs, you know, did you see it or not? And we hadn't seen the replay yet. So we weren't sure. And so we just, you know, and they did their hurry up, ran to the line and snapped the ball. I mean, you would almost think in that amount of time somebody else could have looked at it and might have saw it apparently. I mean, I, don't, I, I still don't know whether it was or wasn't complete. It wasn't complete? Okay. What are your emotions after Boston? Disappointed. More so than anything else. You know, these guys came out and played hard. We, 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 we gave ourselves opportunities, and we missed some opportunities, and, and we just got to go back and take a look at it and see why. And what do you tell the, the locker room? More so than anything else, guys, if, if you can do that for four quarters with an elite team in the NFL, you should be able to do it any time you want. And so, you know, our focus is we've got nine games left to play. We'll play them one at a time. We'll focus in on what's coming, ha coming up next. I mean, there's no reason not to play any, any, any less than what we just did. We can play better, too. That said, obviously, Tuesday is a big day. This game was possibly going to tilt you guys in one direction or another. What do you kind of think you that I'm not going to answer any questions on personnel, okay? Just so you understand that, I'll talk about the game, the game we just played. I'll talk about the future game we're about to play, but I'm not going to talk about personnel. Ryan, you just mentioned it. What's the frustration level when you see your team? This is the third straight time you played the Eagles pretty much straight out. Yep. And then you don't play this way against the Bears and the Giants. Well, I, I, I'll be honest. I, I, you know, the, the, the Bear game, that was – it was – that was a tough one because it was a Thursday night. And I, I'd be honest, my, if that's on me because I, I thought we would get past the loss. You know how tough of a one it was. I mean, it really is tough. And, and this one, I got to make sure we get back quicker and get ready for New England. And, and that's all I'll say on it. But th that's the frustration is when you play teams like that, you should play better. We really should because it's in the locker room. There's enough potential in that locker room to be a better football team. And we've got to go out and we've got to start capitalizing on those things. And what did you think of? substitutions on the offensive line and the offensive line in general? Well, I think we only gave up one sack. Um, unfortunately, it was at a critical point, but, you know, they they battled their butts off. They did some great things. I thought getting the ball out of Sam's hand early set a good tone, a good tempo. I thought taking the shots were very well timed. Um, you know, the protections, we, we max protects a couple of times. It gave them a chance to, to push the ball downfield, and we were that close. I mean, we really were, um, you know. And uh, it's just unfortunate. Forbes gets back into the game a couple times. He ends up matched up on Brown. It looked like they were looking for that. What's the balance of trusting the kid versus that? Well, that's that's part of the balance. And, and you watch the young man, you know, try to compete and do the things that we're asking him to do. And, and he's going to get better. He's got the skill set. So we'll just continue to work with him, continue to, you know, push him to, to help develop him and, and get him ready to play. What was the thinking into putting him in that spot? You guys felt he was ready to well, yes, he's had a couple of really good weeks of practice, a good work. It was a personnel grouping that we used um, where we knew we'd be able to give him some help. And, um, you know, that's credits to them. Yeah, one more, if you don't mind, on the New York thing. The reason to challenge that, I guess, if New York weighs in, is, is there a thought that maybe that's a fruitless challenge because they've already made up their minds? So well, it's a good, that's a good question. But for me, looking at it, you know, if it took that long to decide, they couldn't tell me then emphatically that it was incomplete. And, and, and that's what I thought the rule was supposed to raise to. If they call it a completion, right, and the other team challenges, now we try to see if you can see it emphatically. Well, if you take that long to make a decision, obviously you're not 100%, or at least that's my feeling on it. It seemed like uh, on some of their big plays today, your DBs, Rose Manuel, otherwise were in a good spot. How do you coach the finishing element is to go up and through the arms. You try to get the hands off the ball. You know, um, uh, 
you look at the guy that they went up against, he's probably one of the best in the league right now, and he's playing like one of the best in the league. And then the one where the guys aren't there, there's the bust. Uh, that was a communications thing. we got to make sure it's communicated across the board. You know, sometimes when you get into a, a hurry-up mode, you've got to make sure it's clear and that everybody gets it. Take three more. You guys often play Philly tough, another one of those today. But at some point, does that get even more frustrating that you know you're able to match up with them yep. and not get over it? Absolutely. And that's, you know, to David's question earlier, that, that, that's, that's one of the tough things, the p- tough pills to swallow, is that, you know, if, if you can play that way against the elite three, uh, you know, three times in a row, then let's do it all the time. Take two more. Coach Sam Howell's had a very up and down season, and specifically in the last handful of games, like good first half, not so good second half, next game, not so good first half, good second half. So it's not just defensive adjustments after halftime. Um, how do you get a young quarterback to find that consistency? Well, I think if you look at this game, there were some really good things in the first half. A little bit of slow start in, into the into the uh, third quarter, but he came out of it and, and he was able to push the ball downfield. And especially when he got into the hurry up situations, he, he really handled those things. I mean, this is all growth and development, and 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 really, there's moments that that have to happen, have to occur, so you can develop and grow, uh, not just as individual, but as, as as a team. I mean, you know, looking at the way this team is put together and and where we are. You know, you, you hope that it's coming together, it's coming to fruition, and everything that, you know, we've been talking about since the spring, you know, committing to, to him uh, and his growth and development uh, is, is important because I really do think that, you know, we, we've, we've got something here with this guy. Last one. Kind of a big picture question here, basically kind of at the halfway point of, of the regular season. Where do you think this team is at right now? How do you kind of evaluate where, where it's at? Well, I just know this. We got a game next week that I think we can go out and play well enough to win, and we'll see how we do. I'm only going to talk about one game at a time, Scott. I, I, I think the big that's that's the truth of the matter. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I always want to just make sure we're focusing on what's important right now. The most important thing to me is getting ready to play the next game. All right, thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. All right.